guys. Thank you so much for joining me today for the Knitting in the Way craft cast. As the name would imply, this is a video craft cast that is primarily centered around knitting. However, you will see some crochet, you will see some sewing, and one day, one fine day, you will see some spinning. So sit back, relax, enjoy my shenanigans. Um, my name is Jamie Stevens. It's spelled like that. I'm gonna put it right there. And you can find me on Ravelry as J Mail J, like that, like postal mail, not like opposite of female. <laughs> and you can find me on Instagram as Mrs. Jamie Stevens. So welcome, welcome. And of course, of course, I have to say, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. And if you are a new subscriber, new subbies, you should be over there. Thank you so much. If you haven't subscribed yet, um, yeah, once again, please do. You can just hit that button. It's down there somewhere in the doobly-doo. Go ahead and do that. Without further ado, I'm just gonna give you a warning now and tell you that this is gonna be kind of a get or done episode. I have babies, they're not babies, but I have children coming back from camp today, my 21 year old and my 14 year old. I think this is the first time I've ever told you guys my kids' age, um, they're coming back. So I just wanted to get this recording done so that when they get home, I can like snuggle them and love them and like embarrass them and make them wish they were still gone. <laughs> So yeah, I didn't even bother to put on lip gloss for you guys. Plus, it's been extremely, extremely dry. I don't know if it's been dry where you are, but here in Southern Johnson County, Kansas, it's been ridiculous. But I'm already rambling, and I know you didn't come here for that. You didn't come here for the lips. You came here for the rude dogs. Just kidding. Puppies are behaving right now. You should see them. They're both, I wish I could show you, um, but they're both hanging out on the floor right now, so. We'll see how long that lasts, but let's show some finished objects, shall we? All right, we shall. First finished object. I showed you guys last week this Devon's Dishcloth. This is a commissioned knit that I'm doing for someone. So this was dishcloth, washcloth number two of the six she ordered. So yay, there was a red one and this is a black one and later on you'll see the red and black one that i'm working on now so that was the first finished object and we have a finished scarf and it's got my little tag on it do you guys like that can you see it yay that is my personal tag just in case anybody's wondering, that is from Dutch Label Company. I'll put that in the doobly-doo below, but yeah, it's just a standard one-by-one -one rib, nothing fancy, what I do all the time for my commission knits. And that is finished. No pattern, just, just like I said, one-by-one -one rib. And, 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 finished another crocheted baby blanket. This is just a granny square. Can you guys see through here? I'm gonna hope that you can. As with all things. Got my little tag on there too, because yeah, you guys, if you care and you want to like let people know that and have them remember who made their things, I think tags are acceptable and I'm the boss of you, so do it. I'm just kidding, not the boss of you. <laughs> but I think it's cool. I would love to know what you guys think about labels. Is that a no-no? Is that a good thing? Do you think it helps people remember where they got their product, gift, etc., from? Or, or, I don't know. Let me know. Do you do like hand labels and tags? I have horrible penmanship, so I try to avoid actually writing anything out, but I would love to hear your thoughts. So yeah, big giant granny square crochet blanket. That baby is due Saturday, so glad to get that done. And then finally, last finished object. This is a story of, of a slight fail, but that's okay, I'm gonna show it to you guys first and then I'll, we'll talk about the fail. So I'm gonna call this a pencil pouch because it is a boss bag fail. So this is what happens when you think you know what you're doing, but you really don't. So I've made a couple box bags, and if you, you know, if I do toot my own horn, and I do toot toot, I thought I was doing pretty good and that I wouldn't have to look at the instructions, but 
I went out of town for a week and I came back and when I came to sit down at my sewing machine, his name's Marvin and what I learned about Marvin is that number one, Marvin doesn't like it when I leave and walk away from him. Um, he gets temperamental and he's cranky and he gives me the fits. And so one, I'm delusional and two, Marvin doesn't like to be left alone, but I digress. So this was supposed to be a box bag. I you know, got the first layers sewed to the zipper there. And I thought, I don't need to look at my little pattern. I've got this all figured out. I did not. I did, I just commenced to do like all the things wrong, but I managed to, you know, I managed to save it and, and make some good of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my shop, but I'm not gonna sell it for the box bag price. But the liner, you guys also had the struggles with the liner. I should have um, done this last stitch in a red and I didn't. I don't know, do people look inside here? I'm gonna discount this pouch because I just am. I feel like when I don't do things like to my standard that they need to be discounted. I would love to know your guys' thoughts on that too. Is there a way to like say you guys and say it possessively? I'm kind of a grammar Nazi so I'd love to know how to turn my <laughs> Midwestern slang into something grammatically correct. But yeah, little cat in the hat zipper pouch because I <laughs> was driving the struggle bus. I don't think it's horrible. It's, it's not horrible. It's definitely functional, but it was not what I intended to make. So in that regard, it's a bit, it's a bit of a fail, you guys. Let me know. Let me know how you guys handle these things. That was it though for finished objects. Let's move on to the works in progress. Right. So as I mentioned before, for the same person that ordered the black and the red washcloth slash dishcloth, she also ordered, she ordered a total of six. So I'm making her a black and red one. I will put the name of the pattern right there. I wanna say it's tweed something or other, but it escapes me right now. And as I said, this is the get her done episode. It'll probably be short, shorter than the last one, if not super, super close, you guys. Um, I just haven't, I haven't had a ton going on in life lately. Okay, that's not true. Okay, so the truth is, I have had a lot of, a lot of like anxiety lately, if I'm being 100% honest with you guys. And when I have anxiety and I get really, really overwhelmed with life, I don't want to turn on this record button and I don't wanna talk and I don't wanna like add yet another thing. And I know like this isn't like, I know you guys will be fine if I don't, <laughs> if I don't like record one week but I really just want to be consistent. So, and I also don't want to like, if I could just preach for one second, I don't want to give the enemy like one tiny inch of ground in my life and let the enemy feel like he's able to like push me around and tell me what I'm going to do and what I'm not going to do and what I'm going to accomplish and what I'm not going to accomplish. So this is kind of my way of being rebellious and saying, you're not going to keep me from like my little community and even though I don't feel 100% like hunky-dory all the time, it's okay, because I still have joy, and and we're gonna get her done. So there, there's the absolute truth, and it is what it is, my friends. So yeah, so that, whatever that's called right there. <laughs> I'm glad you like let me have that little preaching interlude <laughs> for that moment. And then my next, uh, my next work in progress is another commissioned knit. It is one of those blown out <laughs> for the love. You guys, I don't think this is gonna get, like me, hold on, let's see if I can make this. I'm not making it better. There we go. It's just a CC copy beanie or a copy CC beanie. I'm gonna say this wrong every time. I see you, I see you, face palm Jamie emoji, I see you, whatever. Uh, the title of this, this pattern will be over there. But yeah, people are still loving these 
So I'm just gonna keep making them. All right, now, if you're super, super, like, what's the word? Perceptive, right? And you notice things, you will probably have noticed that I did not bring out scarfy thing today. Girl, scarfy thing is in time out. Yes, I worked on it this week, but by the time I realized that I left it downstairs, I was just like, I have shown you, I feel like I have shown you scarfy thing for my entire life, <laughs> for my entire craft cast life. I know that's not true, but I'm just tired of her face. <laughs> Sorry, Scarfy Thing. I'm sorry, designer of Scarfy Thing. It's not your fault. I promise you, it's not you. It's me. It's all me. But when she's done, she's going to be stunning, and I'm going to love her, and we will persevere. So yeah, Scarfy Thing doesn't get to be on the craft cast today because she just doesn't. <laughs> so that is it for works in progress. How about one quick hoe of witness past? <laughs> So, you guys, this yarn, I hope I'm able to find the name of it because the camera won't be able to do it justice. It's so soft, it's gotta have a silk content. It just has to. It is just, it's decadent. It's, it's decadent. I definitely bought this in my like making it rain time of life. <laughs> Can you guys see that? Of course you can see that. Can you see how pretty this is? And yeah, these are not my colors, but gorgeous, gorgeous yarn, gorgeous. I imagine I was making some sort of just simple shawl, you know, with the increases, whatever. And I guess I just kind of ran out of steam. Look at you guys, like, wooden needles. Why would I do that to myself? Wooden needles are like speed bumps to me. I, I don't know. I like to zip, 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 zip. Um, so I don't know if this will stay this project. I don't, I don't know how big this is going to be able to get. And I'm just trying to think of what's the best use for it, knowing that these aren't my colors but I love this yarn so, so much, and I really, really want this to get used, so. I don't know, if you guys have any suggestions, I don't know what the yardage is. If I find the yarn, then I'll put the yardage there too. So if I'm able to do that, or if you can kind of guesstimate from the skein, maybe this is about 50 grams of uh, fingering, maybe it's 100 grams of fingering, somewhere between there. Um, I would love your suggestions in the comments on what you think I should do with this. What does one do with beautiful yarn that is colors that they don't typically wear? I don't wear a lot of earth tones. I wear black and gray and, um, and black and gray and blue and black and gray <laughs> and denim and black and gray. So yeah, that is my hoe of what Miss Pass. Don't know when I started this. This probably isn't even in Ravelry, so I'll be doing good if I'm able to find it. Last but not least, we have new stash. Who this? So I don't remember if I've ever mentioned this on the craft cast before, but I would really, 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 really love to make a t-shirt blanket. So every year my church has bike week and I'm gonna just take a quick sippy sip of some buble. Have you guys seen that commercial that has Michael Buble on it? And like he's talking to the, and it's not buble, it's bubbly, but it's buble. So just sip one. Hashtag not sponsored. Okay, now that I'm not dying of thirst. Okay, every year we have bike week, which is just a weekend or a Sunday where we let all the like people who drive motorcycles bring their motorcycles into the church and we have a motorcycle contest and then all the bikers go on a ride and then we also at in the kids church we have like a bicycle ride as well so this is actually a t-shirt from bike week of what year 2017 and so I have a billion Bike Week t-shirts. 
I've been going to my church for a long, long time. So, I say I have a billion. I don't know where the rest of the billion are. I probably have about five in my possession. But I digress. I've decided because I'm one of those people that I don't generally wear a t-shirt. If it has a year on it, I don't wear it after that year. I know, I know, it's so stupid. You guys beat me up. You can, you can, this is a dumb one. This is really a dumb one, but I just, I just don't like to. I don't know what my problem is. I just don't like to. So I'm gonna take those and make um, a quilt. Have I ever made a quilt before? No, but I'm gonna do it. I know, I know I have five billion projects in, in this noggin. This is gonna happen though. So I've already started buying the fabric for it. So let me show you a couple of the t-shirts and then I think maybe um, the complimentary fabric will make sense. And for those of you who quilted before, you can give me your input. Don't be surprised if it's contrary to my thoughts if I don't accept it because I'm really, really stubborn like that. So you can always laugh and say I told you so when it doesn't work out. You, you, I'm fair game for that. But I'm just letting you know right now. Like when I get an idea in my head, I'm kind of like a dog with a bone and I'm like, oh, this is happening. Like that's, that's just that. So I'm gonna move this so you guys can like have a background for these t-shirts. All right. This might be the oldest one I have, I'm not sure. Let me look. That one's 2011. It's 2014. This one is 2012. Okay. All right. So, 2011. That's the front. Oh, that's the back. Sorry, you guys. It's the front. blown out probably okay so you see it's got the orange and black kind of Harley-ish colors and then on the back it's got the church motto which is love God love people nothing else really matters from the Great Commandment and the Great Commission all right so that's 2011 so there's two squares right there it's 2012 So now that's four squares. Here is 2014. So that is six squares. And then I thought I would throw into the mix couple volunteer event shirts so this is from our kids fest every year we do kids fest and we don't wear orange anymore for kids fest we used to so that's six seven right and every year we have women's events so one year we did the subway as our theme, and I think that's for uh, First Peter 5.5. 5. You guys wanna look that up? Do it. So that's eight. And last year for the women's retreat, we did CrossFit. And the verse for that one was nine, Luke 9.23. So that is 10. I think if memory serves, I should probably count those again. That was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Um, I'm not ready to give this t-shirt up yet, so it doesn't get counted in those squares. So, I have been like, you know, rummaging through the Joann's remnants and looking at little things to go along, and of course Hobby Lobby as well, to go along with that and the other day I was in Hobby Lobby and they had 
this on clearance, you guys. Look at how perfect is this? So this will probably be the back side of that quilt. And then maybe some of the background. I'm gonna put that there. Maybe you guys can see that, I don't know. Maybe we'll put it, put it over here. Okay, so that's all happening. And then I think you guys, if you've seen my Star Wars bag, then you saw this on the inside. So this will go in there somewhere. Or calm yourself. You guys should see her. She's like, can you, hold on, hold on. Seriously, Mer? <laughs> She's so funny. Okay, back to the t-shirt situation. Um, so yeah, that'll be part of the background. And then this will be, not the background, that'll be one of the like little square accents. This as well. This little paisley-ish print. These like chevroni waves will go in there somewhere. Like here is what got me super, super excited. So I went to Joanne's the other day and I have a feeling Murph's gonna like, she's about to go ham. Murph, don't do it to yourself. Just lay down. Okay, maybe she'll be good. Anyways, I went to Joann's and they were having a sale on fabric, plus they had a 25% off coupon, which also included items that were on sale. So I got out of my normal remnant only comfort zone and actually bought non-remnant fabrics. So, you guys, like, tell me this doesn't go, right? So there's the brightest of the bright. Right, with a, another bright and the gray. So, like, I feel like these all complement one another. Anyways, I, I'm sure there's a better way to like show all of that, but that's my idea. That's what I'm gonna do eventually, I had to order some acrylic squares because I didn't have those. And if you guys have never done a quilt before, you probably have no clue what I'm talking about. I've never done a quilt before either, but thanks to the YouTubes, I kind of have an idea of some of the stuff I need, so. I don't know when that's gonna get started, more than likely, oh, I forgot. I might do something with this too, but there's like, you know, three inches of it, so maybe not. <laughs> it's just polka dots, just polka dots. Anyways, um, yeah, I don't know when I'm gonna get started. I, I, my plan is to try to start cutting out squares on Thursday of this week, so please pray for me <laughs> um, that I will like keep up the like drive to do this. It, it's probably a bigger project than I am anticipating, which is fine. I would rather have it that way. Like, I remember back in the day when I first started knitting and I just decided I was gonna knit a sweater and I didn't know that that was a big deal. And so I did it and it was fine. So I think things work better when I don't really know they're a big deal. This will not be, clearly, it will not be like a queen size quilt. I think you are supposed to have like 20 squares for something that size. But if I do the complementary squares in between the t-shirt squares, maybe it will be 20 squares, because I have 10 t-shirt squares. Anybody who knows anything about quilting, um, like I said, please feel free to give me your input, and I will do my best to be a good, receptive pupil, Padawan, <laughs> and not my normal stubborn self. But I'm really, really stubborn. So that is probably it for new stash and a little bit of randomness, I'm sure, as well. Can't believe my kids aren't already home. My husband went fishing. You guys, okay, random, random. 
I went to see <sighs> Captain Marvel last night. If you don't know already, I'm a super big Marvel movie freak. I love comic movies. I'm a boy mom, what do you expect? But the thing that like blew me away about Captain Marvel was that it was like set in the 90s. So all the music was like music from like my angsty years. <laughs> and like every single song I could tie to a certain thing and babies that are watching, I'm really, really sorry. You probably remember getting your diaper changed to some of those songs. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was, it was good. It was so nostalgic for me for that reason. And it was a very like big, like, and I'm not like a super, super like girl power, like <laughs> girl power girl. Although I low key am because 90s were like Spice Girl time and then I went to the army and so low-key yeah I am but um, she just like I don't want to give away the movie I don't want to give away the movie but if you are a Marvel movie fanatic you should go see it if you love 90s movie music you should go see it if you at all care about like um, superheroes and like a quasi like space time travel aspect you should go see it if you just want to spend two hours doing something fun you should go see it i'm saying this as if they're sponsoring me and they're totally not but yeah thank you guys for letting me be random thank you for letting me be candid with you guys thank you for coming back every week not really knowing what you're gonna get and thank you for just being my people i know it may not seem like a lot is happening especially those of you like who comment. I know I'm behind on comments, so I'll make sure I catch up with that before I post this, but you really are my peeps, and it really does brighten my day to see you guys interact with me and like us form friendships. It means a ton to me, so thank you so much, and I hope you guys have the most beautiful, blessed week ever, and I hope to see you guys back here next week with more fun and shenanigans. Hi. She's going over to her brother. Taking a nap as well. Hi, Marshmallow. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Oh, oh. oh, really? That's how we say hi. Oh, okay. Okay. Say bye. Say bye bye.